Yeah, Vince uh, Vince was not at SmackDown in Portland. He ain't going to that town. But he did uh, rewrite portions of the show, but not a lot. And uh, if you watch the SmackDown show, it was uh, it was miles, miles better than Raw. And, of course, he was at Raw because it was the Raw after WrestleMania. And so I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to be that guy, but I, I should at least, you know, some people don't like any sort of positivity or, or potential positive thinking at all, but I, I like to think about what could happen. And, you know, if, if Triple H, and I'm skeptical to even say this, but I may as well, if Triple H is going to be writing this show every week, as he has in the last eight months, and Vince is going to, you know, Skype in or whatever, and, uh, you know, Acts this, acts that, but in general, it's largely the same show. You know, I'm I'm not happy that Vince is back, but I will accept that. I don't need Vince ripping up the entire show and screwing everything up, like you know he has done in the past. But um, you know, if he's if he, listen, I don't trust Vince as far as I could throw him. I don't even know what that old saying means, but that's how little I trust him. But. He did say that he would not be in the weeds, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the last time he said that, it was a lie. He said that Eric Bischoff and Paul Heyman were going to be writing the show and he wasn't going to be in the weeds. And meanwhile, Bischoff sat in catering the entire time, and I'm sure Paul was just madly frustrated. Vince just did all of his usual stuff. So we'll see what happens this time around because Triple H, you know, is, is I mean, he's actually, that's his role you know, that's his, his his contracted role, you know, when they send out, oh, Paul Levesque is the, you know, someone in charge of whatever. I forget the exact title they've given him, but that's his job. So, you know, I'd be okay if he actually did that job. And then Vince, you know, came out of the weeds and changed a thing or two and then went back into the weeds again. Let's see what happens tonight. I just need to keep uh, Triple H upright. You know, keep him healthy, keep him in position, because if he decides to go on an extended vacation or something happens, then what? Now with Vince back in the picture, is it him and Bruce and the old cronies by committee? Or do we go with Adam Pierce and then some of the people that have been acting as agents, you know? And I don't want to say, look, let's just go, you Jason Jordans, and I'm not sure who else is doing the agenting right now, but do you, at some point, you know... Do we have a backup plan? Who is that backup plan? Is it only Vince or is there somebody else? Are there actual new eyes that could possibly descend on this product who's not related to a McMahon? You know, we'll see. But it, it's very interesting here going forward because this is the back end for Vince at some point. You know, even though he's here, even though he's going to linger possibly forever, I mean, it's not going to be forever. And Triple H just also isn't going to be forever. I, it is interesting to see what this company could do as it goes along here in Endeavor because it's a lot different than it was before if there's no Stephanie or if there's no other McMahon or McMahon, set, you know, acolyte involved. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair, who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey, Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown That's Live. That's not how knock jokes work. <laughs> we Bailey? What does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it home. <laughs> Well, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doodle. Whatever. What? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle? Yeah, I don't get it. What? See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I, don't, I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.